Hello friends, I welcome you all to GIPL Software Talk. I am Nishtha Patel and I am working with GIPL as Software Engineer. Today, we are going to provide detailed information of different ways to manage data audit trail in SQL. In this video, we are going to discuss what is audit trail, why audit trail is required and how to work in SQL. So, stay connected with us till the end to know full details. Before we start our topic, I would like to give some information about GIPL. GIPL is a government organization. GIPL provides IT and IT-enabled services to different government organizations. We provide informative video about government software and latest technology tutorials. To get latest video, please press on bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Let's start our video. Now, Let's start go through all the topics one by one. Our first topic is what is audit trail? Audit trail is a set of records in tables that records all action taken by a user. We use audit trail of any tables to track different action performed by user on that table. Why audit trail is required? First one is who has done changes? In software, there are multiple users who access same model. Users have to add, update, or delete details of model. We want to know which user made, add, modify, or delete details that audit trail is used. Second one is what changes has been done. Sometimes we need to know previous data after update entry. Then we must be use audit trail. Here. We are going to discuss two methods of audit trail in SQL. First one is using silo table. In this method, add a silo table for each table that exists in the database. Every time a record is inserted, updated, or deleted in a table, the record is also inserted in the corresponding silo table. Use trigger on the original table that will fire whenever something happens. And second one is single table using XML. The XML data type can help to auditing multiple tables into a single table. Format the data into an XML block. Now let's have a quick look at what are the pros and cons of both the methods. First one is inside a table, we have to create clone table for every single table, which will be not the case in single table with XML scenario. We can manage audit trail of all the table using just single table. Second one is while adding a new table, we have to add clone tables and its trigger in silo table method. While we just need to add only trigger in second scenario. Third one is in silo table scenario, we need to add or remove columns in clone table whenever we add or remove columns in main table, which will not be in the case in a single table with XML audit trail method. Here is selection of audit table, which is audit trail using silo table. Let's check live demo in SQL. We are starting the demo of audit trail with silo table. Here is one table state master with four parameters. State ID, state name, created by and created date. And this one silo table of same parameters and add other two columns of action and action date. In action column, which action stores in table like insert, update, and delete, and action date where data has been changed. In silo table, remove primarity and identity of state ID. Here is trigger for state master for insert, update, and delete. Let's execute this script. Now, we are starting DML operations. Now, we will add two rows in state master table. As you can see here, four times one row affected in message. 
because two rows are added in state master and two rows are added in state master audit. Now we check update operation. This is the query for update state master. Here I am updating state name Gujarat with Gujarat new. Let's execute this. Message displays three reports affected because two entries are made in audit table and one modification in main table. Now we will check the delete rate. Here is the query to delete one record from table which I will execute. As you can see here, two times rows are affected. One entry is in audit table and delete from main table. Let's check DML operation effects in both tables. In the audit table, AI action type in both rows. When we add new entry in the state master, then all effects in audit table with AI action. In BU action, old data which is before updated record and AU action which is after update. Now see, we change state name Gujarat to Gujarat new, created by 121001 and all the changes are displayed in AUXN. In ADXN, deleted record is stored. By this, we can verify the trade of record. When you want to add any new column in existing table, then it is compulsory add to shadow table. Otherwise, DML operation doesn't work. So here, we check DML operation in the audit table. If you want to know column wise details, then use particular column in where condition. Likewise, if you want to add new table, then same method can be used. First add shadow table and then it's free. So, this is it with shadow table audit method. Now, let's start another method. Audit trail with single table with XML data column. In this method, we use only one audit table. As you can see here, two tables entries are there in single table. In this method, data stored as XML type display like this. Let's start them. Here is one country master table with seven columns. Country ID, code, name, ISO is deleted, created by, and created table. Here is audit table with five parameters. Audit ID, which is primary key value and is identity is on. Table name column. In this method, we use one table for audit trail. So we need to know which tables affect or being affected in record. Type column. In this column, we store like action, insert, update, and delete. Data, which is XML data type. In this column, stores all data of particular record and last one is created date which is used to know when the data has been changed. Here is trigger country master for insert, update and delete. In this trigger we add insert query with parameters. Now we will executing two tables and triggers one by one. Let's check DML operation. Start with insert operation. Here is insert query for three records which I will execute. You can see here six times one row are affected. Here three records are in main table and three records are in audit table. Here let's check update operation. I want to modify country name Spain with India. Let's execute this. It displays three times records are affected. Now 
We check delete operation of audit field. I want to delete first record of table. Here is query which I will execute. It displayed two times rows are affected. Let's check both tables. There are two rows in main table and six records in audit table. Three are for insert with AI action. Two are for update. I have changed name as you can see here effect in AU and BU action. And one is for delete in AD action. So this is it for the demo. You just need to add trigger to any new table we are adding in database. It doesn't require to create plot table like in previous audit method. If you want to download script, then you can download it from the URL shown on screen and try it yourself. Hope oh, all this information was helpful to you. Thank you for watching video. For any IT and IT enabled services, you can contact GIPL with showing details on screen. If you like our video, please like the video and share with your friend and family member. We will meet you in our next video. Till then stay safe home and take care of yourself.